Today we're gonna build a running lens for phone and spectacles. So let's get started. First, let's create a script. We can call this distance tracker. I have some code here. This you can find underneath the video. I'll post it there so you can just copy and paste it. So this code, first we should add device tracking, so we can enable world tracking <clears throat> and then we add a script component again underneath the camera and we add it here and now we need some text objects, let's get them here. And if you don't have this view here, you can uh, you can device simulate spectacles to make sure that the text is inside the spectacles. And you have input source. Let's take plane instead. But yeah, it's called interactive environment, and we can walk around. Let's see where the text is. The text is here. Pull it out. Cool, cool. Let's move it up. Let's just say minus 15. One, two, two is good, I think. I think minus 20 is better. Yep. And let's give it an outline. Just for more readability, let's say 75. Yeah, zero point sixty. Yep. So we can call this one distance. And I guess we can just copy it and call this one speed. And we move speed down, of course. Say two point uh, three, <laughs> two, one point seven five. Okay, cool. And now we can assign the text objects. That speed, right? Yep. And this is distance. Just disable this one here. Um, and it works. So the top one is measuring distance, accumulated distance. The lower one is measuring uh, meters per second. So actually, let's add that to it. A set distance. Let's say this is 100 meter, and when you reach 100 meter, uh, confetti would uh, spawn on top of you. But yeah, let's for convenience just put this at 10 now, and let's add this confetti. The confetti you can find in the asset library. Oh yeah, now we add it. Oh. Let's just delete that and put it underneath the camera, of course. Okay, now we see it works, amazing. Oh yeah, we need to assign it first. Do that here. Confetti.
Yeah, and then we can like uh, can move it a bit. And let's just scale it up by five. Wow. Cool. So now we can always change the distance here to 20. Let's see. Or is it? Hey. Cool, cool. So basically, you can set milestones for yourself if you want. Let's also add milliseconds to I think we can do do it like this. Cool. What I noticed with other running lenses, I hate that it fills up the screen with stuff. So I think it's important we add a script that when you tap uh, on the phone or on the side of the glasses, that it hides the text here. So let's do that. I prepared a script yesterday, but uh, yeah, and you can find this underneath the video as well. So let's create a script component. Uh, let's just call this disable stuff and no. so this can live just here anywhere basically disable stuff add script and then we add speed, we add distance, and now when we tap, it hides and shows again. So I still think the text is a bit big because when we have more meters, we would like to show everything. So let's make this 30. I think that's pretty good. And the confetti is there. Yay. Now let's try this on the phone. Yay. Yep, that's it for today. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know below what you want to see next. And again, this you can use on spectacles and phone at the same time. Bye bye.